Still think stealth is just fancy paint? The J-35A just laughed that idea off the runway. China's newest fighter doesn't hide with coatings. It hides in plain sight, shaped so cunningly that radars stroll right past it. Today we crack open the real tricks that let this jet fight while staying invisible. For 40 years, stealth meant one thing. Slathering radar absorbing goo on an airplane. We pictured techs rolling graphite gray paint over an F-117, hoping microwaves would vanish like magic. It worked, until it didn't. Modern low-frequency radars shrug at thin coatings, and maintainers hate patching dings after every flight. China watched the same limits hobble US fleets and asked a different question. What if the airframe itself could do the disappearing? Their answer is the J-35A, a fighter whose skin is only the final veil over a body born to scatter, bend, and starve radar waves. Forget matte finishes, geometry is the first weapon. Knife-edged chines, buried engines, every contour is a calculated insult to reflection rules. Coatings still matter, but they're the last 3 millimeters of a stealth philosophy measured in meters. Bottom line. Shaping beats spraying, and the proof is already airborne. Start at the nose. The J-35A's redome tucks inward like a boxer's chin, guiding radar energy away from the emitter instead of back. Slide aft and the fuselage flattens into knife blade sides, showing X-band seekers the narrowest possible target. Wing leading edges line up with the tail. Any spike that does reflect shoots off in a predictable, harmless direction. Intake, S-shaped. Hidden under a diverterless bump that masks the whirling fan face the brightest radar reflector on most jets. Exhaust, a long trough cooled by bypass air, shrinking the infrared dot until it blends with the sky. Even the canopy is slick. Micro-etched gold kills reflections yet stays crystal clear to the pilot. Antennas are flush, hinges serrated like a steak knife, and even the landing gear doors sport jagged edges because stray photons matter when AWACS is around. Add it up and the J-35A's frontal cross-section drops below a golf ball, without a lick of classified paint. Radar engineers call it, signature management by architecture, and it's why a fighter the size of an F-35 can look like a sparrow on a scope. Shape first, materials second. That simple flip rewrites the stealth playbook. Beijing didn't stop at sleek lines. The J-35A is built around a production philosophy China calls, one airframe, many types. The very jigs that build the land-based model for the PLA Air Force also stamp out a carrier version with beefed-up gear plus an electronic attack model that trades missiles for jamming pods. Shared tooling keeps price low and tempo high, the opposite of America's bespoke F-35A, B, and C trio. Swap a few modules aft of the cockpit. A plug-in fuel bay stretches range for the Navy. A dorsal fairing stuffed with side arrays turns the jet into a mini AWACS. Because the outer mold line never changes, every version inherits the same low observable pedigree without pricey recertification. Ground crews love it, one engine, one radar, one set of stealth doors fits three services. That economy lets China scale fast. RAND analysts reckon Shenyang can field two J-35 regiments for every F-35 wing the Pentagon buys once full-raid production hits. Quantity has a quality all its own, especially when every copy is hard to spot. Stealth is half the fight, seeing and shooting first is the rest. Tucked along the spine is a fiber-optic backbone feeding an AI copilot that fuses radar, infrared, and electronic whispers into one picture. Pilots don't juggle screens, one tactical tile highlights the juiciest target, the best escape window, even the missile launch angle that keeps the jet outside the enemy cone. Data pours in real time from satellites, ground radars, and loyal wingman drones like the GJ-11. The AI scores each contact for trustworthiness and tosses spoofed tracks faster than a human could blink. The jet can snap a PL-15 ramjet missile, turn cold to deny the enemy a shot, and let the drone swarm finish guidance, all without pinging its own radar more than once or twice. Think of it as a quarterback tossing the ball to unmanned receivers across the field. While legacy fighters rely on their own emissions, the J-35A achieves one-way transparency. It sees the foe who remains blind. 
That asymmetry is the soul of next-gen air combat, and it's baked into the airframe from rollout. Stealth isn't magic. It's probability math along the enemy kill chain. Detect, track, target, engage, break any link and you live. J-35A shaping squeezes detection range so much that old S-band radars must close to 60 kilometers for a firm lock, well inside modern SAM umbrellas. Even if something is seen, the fighter's electronic warfare suite hits back with range gate pull-off and cross-eye jamming, forcing the radar to start the lock on dance again. By the time a missile flips on its active seeker, the jet has slipped sideways into the Doppler notch, becoming a stationary echo against ground clutter. If the fight goes infrared, towed decoys mimic the fighter's heat signature and lure IR shots away. And if everything else fails, internal weapon bays keep stores tucked inside, no pylon racks that betrayed earlier, stealth, jets the moment they opened. Every tactic is automated, pilots focus on strategy while the jet handles survival. PLA aggressor squadrons report kill ratios above 20 to 1 against non-stealthy flankers in recent drills. Numbers like that rewrite Pacific war plans faster than any diplomatic protest. No modern fighter flies solo. The J-35A shows up alongside the GJ-11, Sharp Sword, a flying wing drone whose blended body hauls two tons of guided bombs inside. Linked by line-of-sight laser comms, the drone slides ahead, sniffing for air defense radars. If it spots a Patriot battery, the J-35A can loft a glide bomb from standoff range without ever lighting its own radar. Lose the drone? Cheap aluminum. Print another. Meanwhile, pint-sized FH-97 expendables act as missile sponges, tossing chaff clouds that bloom like metallic sunflowers and confuse seekers long enough for the manned fighter to slip away. A single J-35A can boss four loyal wingmen, swamping defenders with multiple angles. Swarm tactics compress reaction times and force enemies into a lousy choice. Waste costly interceptors on drones or risk letting the stealth fighter through. Either way, China's manned-unmanned teamwork turns stealth from individual survival into a systemic poison for hostile air defenses. Engineers at Shenyang have already bolted on directed energy pods that ride the J-35A's candid pylons. A 50-kilowatt solid-state laser can blind imaging satellites or toast the guidance of an incoming AIM-120 without firing a shot. Microwave payloads scramble data links, turning coordinated drone swarms into confused birds circling nowhere. Twin WS-19 generators pump out a megawatt of power, plenty to feed hungry energy weapons yet still push the jet past Mach 1.4 with a combat load. Next decade. The rumored J-36 is slated to adopt adaptive cycle engines that tweak bypass ratio in flight, stretching range to 3,000 km without external tanks. That reach makes the South China Sea feel like a backyard pond and lets china base fighters deeper inside hardened bunkers. By blending stealth shaping with energy weapons and long legs, Beijing isn't just hiding, it's dictating tomorrow's tempo. Like this breakdown? Hit subscribe and ring the bell. Your support keeps analysts digging into the classified cracks shaping global air power. Comments are open. Do you think shape or coatings will decide the next Pacific showdown? I read every take. Compare price tags. AUS Navy, F-35C costs north of $110 million. The J-35A is estimated under $70 million. Yet the Chinese platform delivers comparable low observable performance longer unrefueled combat radius, and faster production spool up. Washington's Pacific plan banks on 220 carrier-capable F-35Cs across two oceans. Beijing could crank out 400 land and sea-based J-35 variants in the same window, judging by the floor space at Shenyang's plant. Quality versus quantity flips when both sides are hard to spot and the cheaper plane comes in swarms. Allied planners now gain missile trucks on island strips that zip open, launch, and vanish under jungle revetments. Each J-35A can buddy fuel from a twin-seat J-16 tanker, knitting uninterrupted coverage across the first island chain. The psychological hit matches the numeric one. Japan, South Korea, and Australia are all accelerating sixth-gen timelines because the stealth gap is closing faster than budgets stretch. Air superiority, once an American birthright, is now a contested commodity, and the price keeps dropping. 
Western designers should jot three notes. First, build shaping as primary structure, not an afterthought. The J35A's chimes carry load while slicing signature, saving kilos. Second, design for exportability from day one. Modest mission bays let future customers, Pakistan, maybe Argentina, plug in French or Turkish subsystems without peeling open stealth skins. Third, marry the platform to a doctrine, not a wish list. Every J-35A sortie is pre-planned inside a kill web simulation that ingests satellite weather, radar maps, and tanker schedules. The jet flies the algorithm, not the pilot's ego. Western programs often drown in feature creep. China ships a 90% solution today and iterates software tomorrow. That mindset puts capability in the field while Lockheed still debates test points. If NATO wants to keep pace, it must value iterative fielding over gold plate perfection. Otherwise the skies above Taipei could mirror 1940 London, outnumbered defenders praying the few still airborne can turn the tide. So what if deterrence snaps? Picture a dawn raid. J-35A's skimming wavetops, drones ahead spoofing an amphibious push. Taiwanese F-16V's light afterburners, but AWACS can't separate stealth fighter from decoy. PL-15s slam patrolling E-2Ks before they can scream warnings. Within minutes, runway craters at Hualien and Xiaoyi chain half the ROCAF to the ground. The J-35A never needed to be the best dogfighter, it simply erased the other side's eyes and ears. Marines launching from Okinawa find tankers delayed by rocket barrage, forcing F-35Bs to choose between bingo fuel and pursuit. Meanwhile a carrier group slips inside the median line under heavy jamming. Beijing calls it, rapid resolution, Washington calls it a nightmare ridden by stealth and networking. Either way, the deciding factor isn't paint, it's a holistic design that lets one jet fight as many. The J-35A doesn't just dodge radars, it dodges fair fights. Strip away the jargon and the J-35A is a simple wager, if you can see the enemy while he can't see you, numbers, range, even missile performance become side notes. Chinese engineers ditched the Western obsession with exotic coatings and baked invisibility into every angle, hinge, and algorithm. They paired that geometry with AI, swarm drones, and a production line ready to flood the sky. Result. A fighter rewriting Pacific math, fewer tankers, fewer warning minutes, fewer second chances for anyone in its path. Whether Washington, Tokyo, or New Delhi can answer depends less on stealing radar-absorbing recipes and more on rethinking how stealth is grown, not sprayed. The next war's victor might not have the best paint bucket, but the smartest curves, and the network that makes them sing. So the real question isn't how stealthy China's new jet is, it's whether rivals can pivot fast enough while the J-35A keeps evolving. Drop your take below, and I'll see you in the next deep dive.